Hello everyone, my name is Buharilo Muhammad, a PhD candidate at the Department of Biotechnology, Sunyong University, Seoul, South Korea. I'm going to present my work with the title Genetic Structure of the Invasive Spartina alternicolora and Spartina angelica and their unintentional introduction into South Korean coast. Spartina is a small genus within the Gerso family, Chloridoidae, frequently found in coastal salt marshes. All species are polyploidy and are commonly known as pot grass. Among the Spartina species, Spartina alternicolora and Spartina angelica are the most widely distributed globally. Therefore, the species were introduced into several countries such as New Zealand, Australia, United States, Ireland, Mexico, and China. Spartina alternicolora is a native species of the United States, originated from Atlantic and Gulf coasts. However, in 1816, the species was accidentally introduced into England by shipping. But in England, there was already a native Spartina species, which is Spartina maritima. Therefore, in England, the two species with a diploid number of chromosomes hybridized and gave rise to F1 hybrid Spartina X1000D, which later underwent chromosome doubling and gave rise to Spartina angelica. Due to the genetic redundancy of Spartina angelica, the species became an ecological engineer in which it has been used for coastal restoration, erosion control, and phyto remediation. Therefore, after its formation in southern India, the subsequent spread of the Spartina species has been through deliberate introduction or natural dispersal. Therefore, the species has emerged in some parts of UK and other European countries. However, the colonization of Spartina angelica into other parts of the world is through voluntary introduction for land reclamation. Similarly, Spartina atelopora from its native uh, region was introduced into several countries for land reclamation. However, after their spread, the species became uh, invasive and quickly spread into uh, areas of conservational value covering large areas of mudflat affecting biodiversity. Consequently, local management policies has been designed for uh, total eradication or uh, minimize of the uh, invasive, uh, minimize of the spread of this invasive species. In East Asian coast, the two species were introduced into China for land reclamation and quickly spread along the Chinese coastal line. But very recently, the two species were detected in South Korea as well as in Japan. In Korea, the two species, after the, their introduction, they quickly separate and uh, affected the Korean ecological system. And several studies have found out that the species has affected the macrofauna community, affected organic carbon oxygenation and ion and sulfur cycle, also affected the macrofauna community. Other studies also found out that the species has affected other native plants such as Shoda japonica. As a result, the species has been designated as invasive alien species by Korean Ministry of Environment and Government order its removal and management. In Korea, the geographical distribution of the Spartina species is determined and the species were identified using morphological features. However, the genetic structure and the invasion pathway of this species are unknown. Moreover, the species were only identified using morphological characteristics. Therefore, no molecular identification was conducted on this species invading Korean coast. However, correct identification and information on the origin and invasion history of each invasive species is essential for preventing its further spread. Therefore, our aim in the present study is to identify this species using molecular method also investigate the population genetic structure and determine their invasion pathway. We collected our Spartina samples from their non-geographical location along the Korean coast. For experiment and data analysis, we use chloroplast and nuclear ITS genes to investigate the population genetic structure and then determine their molecular identity. The experiment was conducted at Marine Biotechnology Lab, Samyang University, and we used several bioinformatics software for our data analysis. 
for molecular identification, we conducted phylogenetic analysis of the Spatina species using nuclear ITS. Our results revealed that in some of the samples, we detected two divergent sequences that cluster in two different clade, while in some samples, we only found one group sequence that clustered in only one clade. We assigned the two clade to be paternal clade and maternal clade. Therefore, S. angelica as an allopholopleidae species is expected to have two divergent sequences from both parents. Therefore, all the samples that have two sequences were assigned as Spatina angelica, while the samples with only one sequence were assigned as Spatina alternifera. The study was the first to reveal the hybrid origin of Spatina angelica in a phylogenetic context. Additionally, analysis of the chloroplast gene also revealed two clades that, com that correspond with our identification using nuclear ITS. Finally, we successfully identified our samples as either Spatina angelica or Spatina alternifera, and interestingly, they were differentiated based on their geographical locations. Our investigation of the genetic structure of the two Spatina species invading Korea revealed that all the Spatina angelica constitute of only one haplotype, while Spatina alternifera composed of three haplotypes. Therefore, all the Spatina angelica population found at all the locations are one haplotype, while Spatina alternifera population are divided into three haplotypes. Due to the genetic diversity found in S. alternifera, we further investigated the Spatina alternifera population in more detail, and we found out that the three haplotypes found were differentiated based on the geographical locations. Haplotype 3 was found at location 1 and 2. Haplotype 2 was only found at location 2, while all the individuals at location 1 were composed of one haplotype. In addition, we use our sequences determined in this study and other sequences of S. alternifera from other locations in which we retrieve from public database to uh, investigate the global genetic structure of, uh, and population connectivity of Spatina alternifera. And the TS haplotype network revealed a comprehensive phylogeographic structure in which Japan and Korea population constitute of similar haplotype with Chinese population. And when we look at the genetic structure at the native and invasive regions, S. alternifera was introduced into China from three locations of the U.S. and the Chinese population was dominated by Sipo haplotype. Similarly, in Japan, they only found Sipo haplotypes, but in Korea, we found Sipo haplotype at two locations and additional C1 haplotype at one location. We conducted analysis of molecular variants to investigate population differentiation. We found significant population differentiation at the native region and invasive region, and also at the native region alone. However, at the invasive region, which includes China, Korea, and Japan, there is no significant population differentiation, which shows that the population may uh, include only one population. In Korea alone, there is significant population differentiation based on geographical region. This highlights that the introduction of the Spartina species into Korea was independent and perhaps multiple times. The neutrality test shows possible population expansion and the results shows that the Chinese population was recently expanded while the population of Korea and Japan shows no significant population expansion, meaning that the population were the same since introduction. Therefore, we suggest that after the introduction of Spatina species into Chinese coast, the species might uh, possibly separate into the Yellow Sea and establish at Korean coast. In addition, the introduction of the two Spatina species was independent and S. alternifera was introduced multiple times into Korean coast. In conclusion, we reveal for the first time the phylogenetic hybrid origin of S. angelica. We confirm the molecular identity of this invasive Spatina species and reveal their geographical distribution. We explore the genetic structure and reveal the introduction pathway of this invasive species on Korean coast 
our findings suggest that S. angelica and S. alternifera population might have independently invaded Korean coast multiple times from China, possibly through ocean currents or trade and transport. Therefore, it is essential to strengthen reliable detection and monitoring systems for spatina introductions and spread to minimize their biological invasion risks in other regions. Thank you very much. If you have any question, you can reach me on the address below. Thank you.